Hey Geminis, welcome to your love reading for July 24th to the 31st for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So Geminis, lucky you, I'm using a new deck with you guys today. I just wanted to break up the monotony of using the same decks I always use, um, and I use a lot of decks, and I'm still going to be using them in this reading as well, but I brought out some one new one that I've been itching to bring out. Keep in mind, I haven't studied this deck thoroughly, the Spellcaster's uh Oh, well, this is the book. So the Spellcaster's deck, <laughs> the Spellcaster's deck, I'll put a link below in case any of you are really interested. Um, I did prep, I did prep them already. So no, no worries there. Usually I spend a lot of time with a deck before I go ahead and use it in a reading like this. Um, but something really told me to break it out. So I'm just going to trust it and roll with it. But like I said, I prepped it, I saged it, they're good to go. Um, and by the way, just like for anybody who's curious about learning tarot, or who's really into it, I definitely recommend always reading the book that comes along with your decks. A lot of people don't. And the only reason I say you should is because uh, when it comes to the cards, yes, there are traditional meanings to the cards. There are traditional explicit meanings. But with newer decks, more modern decks, people who develop these decks put their own interpretation into it like in the energy when they are creating these decks and that energy definitely stays with the deck and yes as as you develop your own method and as you use decks you do start to develop your own personal meanings as well but i have noticed like when i use certain decks versus others it's like maybe the seven of cups in this deck actually is very different from a seven of cups in another deck or maybe a two of swords in this deck is different from that deck right as far as the interpretation is concerned um so it's just something to, to note just if you're you know wanting to go down that rabbit hole it also keeps you sharp it also keeps you sharp just to keep constantly studying but that's just my little tip that's just my little tidbit okay all right gemini so let's go ahead and talk about you so for anybody who's new to my videos I always talk about my meditative session and then the pre-shuffle which the cards are already laid out then i go ahead and do the tarot reading so tapping into your energy gemini i did get some into intuitive hits pretty quickly actually i heard the word merge and then i saw like a cityscape like a downtown area, a lot of high rises, like very, very dense kind of city we're talking about. And actually, I did see water as well. So it's a mega city that's on the coast, um, which I, actually most mega cities are. Most mega cities are because it's just the evolution of of human society. But I won't get, I won't fall down that rabbit hole with you guys. Gemini's, you always make me talk so much. <laughs> ah, don't don't let don't let me get off track with you guys. So with this energy, either you or someone that you're connected with is thinking about merging a business or even just merging, you know, two lives together. You know, you might be thinking about asking someone to move in. Someone might be thinking about asking you to move in or again, could be merging business partnerships because that cityscape high rises. I was, you know, seeing a lot of offices, a lot of building, build, Jesus, office buildings. Thank you, Mercury Retrograde, Gemini. <laughs> um, so that's something to keep in mind for some of you. And then something else that was interesting, I started to get a lot of energy in my hands, a lot of energy in my hands. And Gemini's, the hands are a body part that is very much associated with Gemini. You guys are very good with your hands. You're very handsy. Um, and you guys are great creators. You know, that's also why hands are such a Gemini associated body part. Uh, some of you might be having issues with your hands around this time, and it might be because of Mercury retrograde. So just keep that in mind, depending on how strong your, ge your Gemini placements are, or if you have other mercurial placements like Virgo, or if you have just a lot of them in general. Okay. So that, that could just be it. I don't want you to be overly concerned if you're having issues with your hands, but if you know you have an injury of some sort, just pay attention to it at this time. Just please pay attention to that. Okay. Some of you might also be realizing that you have healing ab abilities through your hands, through touch through physical touch a lot of touch was coming through after that little hand channeling some of you guys can be very touchy <laughs> or get touched a lot in, the, in this upcoming week and keep in mind guys this is just energy so we work through energy differently at different rates for different people so this energy could be with you for the next couple weeks maybe you've already experienced this energy in the past so another thing to keep in mind okay then i actually started to feel like an energetic band around my throat uh, like very much just like a band of energy, like a circle of energy around my throat. And I wasn't surprised. It is the throat chakra energy. Um, you are Gemini. It is Mercury retrograde. I do feel like there is something that is being held back though. I do feel like there's a lot of truths, a lot of truths um, being held back, not being spoken either by you, Gemini, or someone that you're connected with that wants to share this with you. But I do feel like that's also in part because there is a major block around this throat chakra energy. Someone feels like they can't say something, essentially. Someone feels like they can't say something. Someone feels like they can't be loud and proud about something. Um, constraint. 
whoever's feeling this, they're really struggling with it because they actually do want to share it, but they're holding back. They're holding back. Okay. Um, and then the last thing I heard, uh, was take me on a journey. <laughs> Gemini, some of you might be wanting an adventure, all right? Some of you guys might be wanting to travel or someone might be saying like, hey, Gemini, let's go on an adventure together. Some of you guys might be feeling very adventurous and a little feisty around this time, okay? So Gemini, let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle. So we have 10 of cups, Piscean energy. The hermit, Virgo energy. Hold on, let me move this deck over. It's bothering me. I was like, oh, I'm crowded. Okay. And then we have the fool in reverse. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because this is a Uranus card. And then we have two of wands, Aries energy. So honestly, Gemini's with this hermit right in the middle, this is a lot of contemplation. Um, I'm actually also getting this energy of someone trying to talk to their guides, trying to get guidance and seek advice. Some of you, or again, this could be someone you're connected with, doesn't have to just be you. Um, this hermit, whoever's in hermit mode, I'm going to say it's you, Gemini, is in hermit mode. You've got a decision here with this two of wands trying to decide on something. And by the way, this is like the first time I'm really looking at these illustrations. So I might like stop in a minute to really look at some of these images. Um, he's bound to both of these wands with rope, but he's talking to a bird. You know what I mean? It's like he's talking to that bird. He's talking to that guide. He's trying to seek out adv advice and guidance on what to do in this situation. I really want this one, but I really want this one. Oh, geez. I really don't. I really don't know which way to go here right? Trying to figure out the best option. And again, you could be seeking advice through someone in the 3D sense, like a therapist, a friend, a family member. Either way, someone's definitely seeking advice on what to do about this energy. Oh yeah, about this energy. Uh, with the full in reverse, I'm, get, I'm getting a lot of just like ugh, anxiety, actually. I'm getting a lot of anxiety. And there's an illusion going on here as well. There's an illusion going on here as well. It's almost like this hermit, Gemini's, whether this is, again, whether this is you or someone else, this is exactly how the cards came out. I'm just holding them all up so you can see. I just wanted to paint the picture clearly to you guys. This hermit has, is going through a little bit of an illusion is kind of what I'm getting here, which is interesting to me because the hermit is all about breaking illusion. So whoever's in this hermit mode is going to be in it for quite a while on this Ten of Cups energy. There's a lot of like family home, home energy coming in here in thought. This hermit, I'll just call, we'll just call them the hermit. This hermit's thinking about family. This hermit's thinking about their long-term emotional fulfillment, emotional stability as well. But specifically around family, even maybe contemplating creating a family with someone, maybe Gemini, you or someone you're connected with knows like who they want to have a family with. Family, family, family. Just is really strong right now. But there's this illusion of I can't really have it. Like maybe I can't have it. Maybe it's not, maybe I don't, oh, oh, maybe I don't deserve it. Oh, I don't like that. Maybe I don't deserve it. Someone feels, someone's afraid they're going to look like an idiot. Like someone feels like they're going to embarrass themselves with whatever decision they're going to make. I feel like it's in the form of a question. Yeah, I feel like it's in the form of approach to create a ton of cups with another person. I feel, I'm feeling like a, an extending out to people with that energy. But someone's afraid they're going to look like a, well, like a fool. Someone's afraid of that. Someone's afraid of that. And it is holding them back. It's causing them anxiety. I wouldn't be surprised if we get the nine of swords out here. And it's because deep down they feel like they don't deserve it. Oh, I don't like that. All right, Geminis, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Uh, for anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. Okay. <laughs> oh, a new deck. Always feels good to shuffle it. Ah. <laughs> any messages for Gemini regarding love? July 24th to the 31st. Any messages for Gemini regarding love, July 24th to the 31st? Any messages for Gemini? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, there's the throat chakra, guys. <coughs> July 24th to the 31st. Any messages for Gemini? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's too many. That's too many. Any messages for Gemini? Regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Let's see here. Oh, 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 wow. We have death, first card out, scorpionic energy. Oh, strength. <laughs> I have old eyeballs. Strength in reverse, Leo energy. 
whoa 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 okay i actually don't know if i can show this card um the little risque hold on <laughs> I'm cover it with my finger page of cuffs in reverse <laughs> i might not hold that one up again guys just because it's like hold on a second it, it is very risque page of cups in reverse okay just letting you guys know and i just don't want the video to get deleted okay i know that you know there are a lot of people who use the sexual magic deck which i have and i haven't used it for youtube really because i'm just paranoid about my videos getting deleted all right then we have oh four of wands aries energy with nine of cups piscean energy oh my god i love it oh my god that feels so good that feels really good i love that energy all right let's see what else we get out here Hmm. Someone here is incredibly romantic, but they, it's like they never tap into that romantic side. It's almost like they're, it's almost like they're terrified to fall into their romantic side. Interesting. Any other messages for Gemini regarding love, July 24th to the 31st? Any other messages for Gemini regarding love, July 24th to the 31st? I feel a very, very, very masculine energy in that energy, like the one who's kind of afraid to fall into their romantic side. Especially with the death card, they're going through some shit. There's a, a very, again, very, very heavy masculine energy. He's going through really, really tough time right now. Any other messages for Gemini? Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is interesting. Knight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy could also be um, water or fire with, is that the eight? Yeah, the eight of Cups in reverse, uh, Piscean energy here. A lot of Piscean energy here for you guys. Overall, oh wow, we have a King of Swords. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. There's definitely that masculine energy I was sensing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. oh. <laughs> I was about to show you the card underneath and I was like, damn, I don't know. I think that's another one I can't show, but I can, I can. I thought he was naked. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> Old eyeballs. King of Pentacles, Taurian energy could also be um, earth or air. That was funny. It's like, <laughs> God, I'm gonna have to watch this deck a little bit. So Gemini, in true fashion, two court cards, definitely to describe you. And my feminine energies, again, don't get mad at me. But yes, I am tapped into a very, very masculine Gemini energy. That doesn't mean it doesn't apply to you, okay? It probably just is going to be vice versa for you. Or you're probably in very masculine energy. Decide for yourself, okay? And it is insight, guys. And I, with the intention I set with my readings, I always set the intention for... Um, for messages that need to be heard, like messages that need to come out. And usually that's about people who are trying to get clarity or guidance on people in their life, especially when it comes to love. People are usually interested in the other person more so than themselves. So I think that's also why this has been happening. But just so you guys know, okay? Um, the King of Swords and King of Pentacles. I actually really like this combination and I really love these illustrations here. Usually the King of Swords I'm not a huge fan of. But I'm really digging this energy combined with the King of Pentacles. This is very solid, grounded energy. This is someone who's really thinking rationally about the tangible, about the 3D, about abundance, about career, about money, about family as well. Earth is very family-related um, energy. I'm getting a lot of building here. Yeah, someone's planning on making some moves, as a king, no less. And Gemini's, like I said, I do feel like this is you for the sake of the reading and for the sake of not confusing you guys, that's how I'm going to read it. So if it's vice versa for you, decide right now, okay? The thing that I'm noticing, though, about this King of Pentacles in this illustration, I thought this was a devil at first. I really did, like standing right behind. King of Pentacles is Taurian energy, but... You know, it is Earth as well, which encompasses Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Cap Aquarian Cusper. Capricorn energy, I'm feeling, is trying to actually come forward, which again, I'm actually, I'm not surprised. Eclipse energy it was in Capricorn, so we might get some more Capricorn, Capricorn cards out here. But let's go ahead and get into these energies. So we have Death with Strength in Reverse and, oh geez, I already forgot, oh well. And Page of Cups in Reverse. I'm just going to put that Page of Cups down. I got to do something about that. Maybe I'll get a little sticker. But with death, strength in reverse, and page of cups in reverse, this death energy feels very much like a transformation here. A major transformation. Like, I'm feeling very kind of like, ugh. 
like just oh god like guttural discomfort that's like the best way for me to describe this energy that i that i'm experiencing and it's definitely this male masculine energy who's experiencing it it's very uncomfortable i really don't like it they might even be having some digestive issues because it feels so like oh my god um there's a lot of pain going on in this person that really needs to be dealt with and that's what and that's what's happening here this pain that they've had this pain they've carried these wounds essentially wounds and trauma is being dealt with it's being healed but it is a major death process for them for whoever this masculine energy is i feel like honestly gemini's i feel like it's you <laughs> i feel like it's you i feel like it's this king of swords king of pentacles combination okay um there's okay this transformation this healing process for this person you gemini sorry you um the fact that it keeps saying it like that i feel like it is gonna be vice versa for a lot of you okay it's really kind of doing away with this fear of romance, this fear of being soft, this fear of being sensitive, this fear of letting that part of them show. It's allowing them to really not be afraid of their feminine side, which I think is really helping them heal and it's really helping them elevate their energy as well. And then right after that, we get the four wands and the nine of cups, basically a, a wish fulfillment in in a relationship in a foundation foundation could also be something that's built so it could also be about a business but either way it's a wish fulfillment it's something that someone is actually really desiring gemini's my masculine gemini's you've wanted this you might not have admitted it to people you might have even had a hard time admitting it to yourself but you want this you want this and you want it to the point where once you go through this death process you're going to start making moves. You're going to start making plans to figure out how to get it. And then you will get it. You will very much get it. Okay. But let's go ahead and break down these energies. Hold on. I, I got to leave that page of cups down here. Let's go ahead and break down these energies a little bit more. Let's look at the death card. Let's see what's going on with that. I'm going to use Rider Waite to clarify. Tell me about death. Tell me about death for Gemini. Regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Tell me about death. Time to not be afraid anymore. Time to emotionally, mess, like emotionally mature. Time to emotionally mature. Time to be confident. There's nothing to fear. Get, a, get rid of the anxiety. Like this is all energies that I'm picking up with this death energy. Tell me about death for Gemini. Regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Tell me about death. I just heard escapism. That might, that might resonate for some of you. Escapism just instantly makes me think of like, what can I do to just escape my emotions? What can I do to escape my problems? Because I can't deal with them. Tell me about death. For Gemini. Tell me about death. For Gemini. Regarding love. July 24th, Ooh. five of pentacles in reverse, Taurus energy. I love this. I love this. This I'm, I'm actually getting a lot of sorrow with this energy that's basically being squashed out. Energies of feeling alone, energies of feeling alone, energies of feeling very unsupported in, in the long term, in the long sense. Uh, Gemini, again, my masculine Gemini is here. You know, I'm just going to say kings. I'm just going to say kings, okay? That's just going to be less confusing. Sorry, let me get some water. Mm. Oh, oh, God. So this king. Mm. This king has suffered from a, a long history of feeling like no one has my back. No one is supporting me. I am alone. I'm alone in this. Kind of like lone wolf kind of energy. They haven't liked it, though. They haven't enjoyed it. I feel like they've had a little bit of a front. I feel like this king has had a little bit of a front in that, like being proud of, of having to be alone, being proud of not relying on others. But at the end of the day, they do want to rely on others. They do want to have healthy relationships. And this death process is really helping them work through that. Tell me about death for Gemini regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Look 
at that. The world. Fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Also, Saturn rituals, Capricorn here. This is a whole new cycle starting. Also, indicative of travel. Like I said, some of you might be traveling, going on a little adventure here. This is really changing this king's perspective. It's making them mature. I mean, if we... Hold on. If we see here, right? Page of Cups in reverse. That's emotional immaturity. That's that rejecting their romantic side, their sensitive side. Like this, this masculine energy, this king... These kings, look at that. They go from page to freaking kings, okay? That's major maturity. That's major growth from this death process. But it's also accepting the feminine sides. They can be more balanced and grounded here. Tell me more about death for Gemini. For, ooh, oh, hello, emperor. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. I knew it was that masculine energy. All right. Tell me about death. Hermit in reverse. Yeah. Very much tapped into masculine Geminis right now. Virgo energy. It's that same energy I was picking up on in the pre in the pre-shuffle. Yeah. After this death process, this king, this masculine energy, this emperor will be coming out of hermit mode because they'll have they'll figured it out. They'll have figured it out. They'll have gone through a healing process and they'll have the clarity they need and they know what decision they need to make. By the way, emperor can be a father figure, grandfather figure. It's someone who is um can be older that they don't have to be older it's usually an energy of i've been through a lot i know what i'm doing but someone who likes a lot of power who likes power can be a little on the cold side tell me about death for gemini regarding love july 24th to the 31st tell me about death for gemini regarding love did you guys hear a moan i swear i heard like a male just moan a little a little psychic hit there okay overall energy for death death in reverse <laughs> scorpionic energy i feel like this king was resisting this death process for quite a while i'm actually getting resistance with this <laughs> especially because it's the overall energy for death upright like death in reverse uh yeah they've been resisting this for a while they, they're finally surrendering to it they're finally surrendering to it. They're going to be more sensitive. They're going to show their romantic side a little bit. They're going to be more um, tuned into their feminine side. They're going to have deal. Uh, de Jesus, they're going to have dealt. It's not even proper English, whatever. Um, with these issues of being alone, not being able to trust people. It seems like to be an also a really big issue. And it really helps them mature. It really helps them mature. And then they come out of this hermit mode ready to make a choice, okay? Now let's look here. <laughs> let's look at the four of wands and the nine of cups, okay? Basically getting, basically someone's getting their wish. Someone's getting exactly what they want and it does seem like it is a relationship, could even be a marriage, could even be a business, okay? Either way, it's a foundation involving another person. Let's use Gilded Tarot for this. Uh, nine of cups, let's go for the nine of cups. I think we're gonna find out more information on the nine of cups. Tell me about nine of cups for Gemini. Regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Now this, sorry, I'm being drawn to this energy over here. Why does this energy feel very funky? It almost feels like a separate energy. Oh, it might be another person. Ooh, 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 Geminis. This might be another person entering the reading. We'll, we'll get back into that. We'll get back into that. There's something about that I'm not really comfortable with. Talk about Nine of Cups. Tell me about Nine of Cups for Gemini regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Tell me about the Nine of Cups for Gemini regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Tell me about Nine of Cups for Gemini regarding love. Whoa, okay. Oh. Oh my god, I love it. King of Cups, Scorpionic energy could also be water or air with the Ace of Pentacles. I gotta be honest, guys. With the Four of Wands, with the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, which is usually a gift or a proposal. With the King of Cups, the, the King of Love and Commitment. I feel, I feel like I got this for someone else yesterday. I swear to God, I feel like I've got this energy for someone else yesterday. This is definitely an offer of commitment. At the very least, it's an offer of commitment. So someone's getting their wish come true that they're getting an offer and commitment here. And I feel like it's this emperor making the offer. It's this emperor making the offer. For some people, will that be a proposal? Yeah, it most definitely can be with these, with these energies. 
Tell me about Nine of Cups for Gemini. I definitely got this message from someone yesterday. Tell me about Nine of Cups for Gemini regarding love. July 24th to the 31st. Tell me about Nine of Cups for Gemini regarding love. July 24th to the 31st. Oh, okay. Any other cards? Any other cards? Tell me about Nine of Cups for Gemini. Oh, we got a female energy. Tell me about Nine of Cups for Gemini regarding love. Tell me about Nine of Cups for Gemini regarding love. July 24th to the 31st. Okay. Let's see what we have here. We've got the Queen of Cups in reverse. Cancerian energy could also be um, Pisces or Scorpio. You could be a Cancer gem cusper. We do have a true pair here, guys, which is usually soulmate energy at the very least. At the very least. Could also be twin flames or divine counterparts. Um, either way, it's someone who's just very compatible with you, okay? Whoa. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire. With the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, my. Ooh, I don't like that energy. Overall, for the Nine of Cups, we do have Five of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. So putting away the wands, putting away the fight, putting away the conflicts, Eight of Wands underneath that, Sag energy moving ahead, could even be traveling again and moving. Um, this offer is going to squash any beef that's happened between um, this masculine energy and this feminine energy. But this feminine energy, man... With this Queen of Cups in reverse, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and Page of Pentacles in reverse, I mean, this is someone who is like shut off and shut down from this emperor. I feel like a major wall around this person. A major wall around this person. They're very hurt. They're not budging. They're not giving their energy. They're not really giving two fucks right now. Ooh. But I feel like this is the energy that this queen is carrying until this king comes in. Because overall, the wish fulfillment is happening. And there's forward movement away from any conflicts and fighting that's happened. Which tells me that there, that there will be forgiveness here. But this energy before this king comes in, man, like, that's going to be a hard approach. That's a very, very hard approach. I'm kind of curious as to what happened here, though. Um, let's use the Kipper deck. Let's use the Kipper deck. Let's see what we can get with that. We're probably not going to get all details for everybody, but we can probably get a little tidbit for someone out there, okay? So just keep that in mind. Just because Kipper deck can be a little specific. What was this fight about? What was this fight or conflict about? Competition. Okay, this king, this king and queen could have had a little bit of a competitive streak with each other. They could just have really strong personalities or there actually could have been other people involved. And I was kind of sensing that this almost feels like an external energy for a lot of you. So that could be it. Let's see what else here. What was this fight about? Concern. All right, so this masculine energy has been very, very worried about this um plagued oh okay they've been plagued they've been plagued by this they haven't been able to stop thinking about it energy of 33 which is a master number as well they haven't been able to stop thinking about it since it happened is this energy that i'm getting i think that's why they've surrendered to this death and this death energy and this death process of transformation and healing because they really couldn't take how things have been since okay whoa Distant horizons, 36 breaking down to a nine. There could be a lot of distance between this king and queen. I think there is definitely emotional distance at the very least. And there's also a bit of fantasy in this too. This king slash emperor has been so lost in thought about it that I feel like their thoughts kind of ran away with them. Uh, distant horizons can also be quite a fantasy, fa fantasy? fantasy card, a daydream card as well. It's almost like the more this king and, or emperor thought about the situation, it almost seemed like what they wanted was further out of their grasp. And that put them even further in that Five of Pentacles energy. To the point where they just finally surrendered to this death energy. Okay. Everything happens for a reason. Tell me more about this conflict. Tell me more about what happened. Tell me more about this conflict and what happened in the past between these two. Tell me more about this conflict. And this Five of Wands energy. Courtship. Energy of four. Yeah, they're going to be kind of vague with me, guys. <laughs> they're deciding to be vague with me. Um, especially since it's coming out after Distant Horizons. It's, again, feeling like 
this relationship is very far out of reach the more time that passes and the more that this uh, king slash emperor thinks about it. One last attempt to see if we get any other cards out here. And courtship is something that's very new. Wanting a renewal here. Even if you've been, what, Jesus, even if you were with this person for a while, what they have in their mind is basically starting over, okay? And if you never dated this person, essentially they're like, okay, let's finally do this. That kind of energy. Could even be the beginnings of a business partnership as well. It doesn't have to be just romance. Although this feels very romantic, I just have to say. <laughs> any other messages regarding this fight? Can you tell me more about what what happened? Bad, okay. bad health. <laughs> 31 breaking down to a four. Bad health. It was a bad situation, essentially. It was not healthy. It wasn't built on the right things. Someone could have actually had an illness as well, which maybe could have been part of it, mental or physical or otherwise. But either way, it was a faulty foundation to begin with, whatever happened in the past, all right? On the bottom, we do have expectation, which is interesting. 28, which is a cyclical energy. By the way, you have two fours here, just so you guys know. You got two fours. Um, expectation is literally waiting. It's literally waiting and watching. It's usually known as the three-month waiting period card. It usually has a timeline energy of about three months. Excuse me, whether this happened three months ago or whether it's going to take three months to come to full circle, Jesus, come full circle, excuse me. But yeah, I'm feeling like someone just sat and waited because they didn't know what to do. I feel like the feminine energy, Jesus, the feminine energy <laughs> um, definitely has a sense of waiting about her. I mean, this this queen is not moving. This queen's not moving and they are very much hurt. They're just sitting, it's almost like they're sitting and waiting for the right thing to occur. Like sitting and waiting for justice to happen. Yeah, this queen is not approaching this king whatsoever. It's almost like they're refusing to. It might be a little ego there on the side of this queen, keeping her from like reaching out to this king here. But this king's reaching out. This king's reaching out because this conflict is being done away with. Now, these energies... I'm a little worried, Gemini. I'm a little worried. Because Knight of Cups in Reverse is my inappropriate lover card. Um, it could also be, it's like essentially someone who like gives love away to everybody or holds back a lot. Like a lot. Like doesn't give anything at all or gives it all away. There's not a whole lot of in between with that. Someone who's just very inappropriate when it comes to love and emotion. And especially the fact that it's in Reverse, it could just be, I can't come forward in love. I can't come forward in emotion. But with the Eight of Cups in Reverse, that's a returning energy. That's a returning energy. I, I really hope that there's not like a inappropriate lover coming into the picture here in the midst of all this beautiful energy. But let's go ahead and check this out, okay? Let's look at the Eight of Cups in reverse. Uh, we'll go steampunk. We'll do steampunk. So I have Eight of Cups in reverse for Gemini regarding love. It's like there's something about this that feels very unexpected, this energy over here. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not liking it. It's actually making me nervous, which means it's probably making you nervous. Tell me about Eight of Cups in reverse for Gemini regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Tell me about Eight of Cups in reverse for Gemini regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Okay. Tell me about Eight of Cups in Reverse for Gemini regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Tell me about Eight of Cups in Reverse for Gemini regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Let's see here. Tower in Reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because this is Mars influence. Ooh. This is an inevitable tower moment. Someone's been avoiding doing this. Damn. Okay, whoever this is, Gemini, they're coming in and they're bringing in a tower. And it's something that they've been avoiding doing for quite some time here. I have to do this. Someone feels like they have to do this. Well, they do. <laughs> they kind of do here. Uh, Gemini's, this could just be an old lover trying to get closure here. Ace of Swords in Reverse. Ooh, this tower to bring in the clarity, man. Oh, my God. I, I actually am hearing blow it up. To blow it up. To, to blow it up. To blow up any lies, any illusions that have happened. It feels very fast. It feels very, very fast. 
Cards are just flying, man. Look at this. Page of Wands in reverse, Five of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy, and the Page of Swords in reverse. Page of Swords in reverse and Page of Wands in reverse. That's a lot of immaturity. I'm also getting a lot of ego with this, and I am getting lies, like blatant lies and gossip as well. Gossip. I'm hearing accusations. Oh, guys, this is taking a very dramatic turn. But with Five of Swords in reverse, I'm happy that this is out here because that's about forgiveness. It's almost like someone's coming clean about like gossip, lies, bullshit. It's someone who at behaves inappropriately around emotions and they want forgiveness for this. I'm getting a lot of like talking behind the back. This knight could be coming in to the king or the queen. It's actually hard to tell right now, but someone's had a lot of shit talked about them. And they're about to find out all the details of that. And it's going to be very quick. It's going to be very shocking, very surprising. But it's this energy is very, very fast. Very, very fast. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups in reverse. Oh, yeah. There's the secret card. Tell me about Eight of Cups in reverse. For Gemini regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. High Priestess just came out. Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. Secrets. This is about secrets. Overall energy, we do have Ten of Wands, Sagittarian energy. It's been a burden. It's been a burden on this person to have the, to have this information and not be sharing this information. The gossip makes me so nervous, guys, because I'm at... Oh, God, Geminis. I'm getting the sense that it's almost like a whistleblower on the king or the... No, on the king. On the king. On the king. Damn, don't tell me this king was talking shit. Either the king or someone in the king's life, which who the, the queen knows, the queen knows this person. Um, it's like someone's blowing the whistle that this king or someone in the king's life, again, someone the queen knows, was talking a lot of mad shit behind the queen's back. A lot of shit, a lot of gossip, a lot of lies, spreading lies, spreading rumors. Oh my God, what the hell? Seriously? And it's all about revealing secrets. This is going to really upset the queen. I can feel it. It's like, it's definitely about shit being talked about the queen. And it definitely feels like a whistleblower energy on the king. I kind of, I got the chills, guys. Okay, you know what? We got to find out more about this. So I'm going to put the Kipper cards back. <laughs> I'm going to put the Kipper cards back and see what else we can get off of this, okay? And then I'm actually going to break out a deck that I've been studying, the Lenormand deck. Okay, we have Sudden Wealth, the first card out. Tell me about these secrets. Like, tell, tell me tell me what the whistleblowing. Tell me what is being blown up here. What truths are being revealed? Whoa. Uh-huh. We have Wealthy Man, 13, breaking down to a four, and Coffin with 19 as a cyclical energy. Don't worry, guys. Coffin is about what is concealed, what's been shut, what's been shut, what's been closed, what's been buried secrets secrets that the king has secrets the king has been holding back from the queen and it could be about money because we do have sudden wealth here it could be about money but i'm feeling it like it's more about a jackpot of information because it is quick it's quick it's sudden energy coming into the queen sudden wealth of in, thank you sudden wealth of information about what the king has been hiding and again it could be that you know this king has money and maybe they've just been hiding that fact or or they lost a lot of money but i feel like it's about what's being spoken Tell me more about what the truth that's coming out here. Tell me more about the truth that's coming out here. More of that concern. The king might be worried that, that this whistleblower is going to come in and talk to the queen. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else. Tell me more about the truth coming out here. Tell me more about the truths coming out. Let's see what we have here. We have lovers and change. Oh, perspective. The perspective on the situation between the king and the queen is, is, is changing. This information is going to change someone's perspective on this relationship. Wow. Mm. And I feel like it's going to be the queen. Wow, this took a shitty turn. On the bottom, we have imprisonment. 
29 breaking down to an 11 wow and privileged lady yeah this is the queen's energy for sure for sure their perspective on the on the king in this situation is definitely going to change with with this information that's coming out okay so as i said i will be bringing out the lenormand deck i'm still studying it guys I'm still studying it. Um, so if I have to pull the book out, I'll have to pull the book out. I'll, I'll do my best. It's kind of a hard deck to learn, but I feel like it's really going to help in this situation here, okay? Tell me about this coffin. Tell me what the king has been holding back. Tell me more details on what the king has been holding back. Blockages. We have the mountain with the energy of uh, the eight of wands talking about talking about um, the blockages, trying to move past the blockages with the energy of 21, breaking down to a three here, okay? Tell me more about what this, the king has been holding back and what secrets are coming out, what truths are being revealed. So far, we just have the mountain, which is about obstacles. It is about blockages. Tell me more about what the queen is finding out about the king. All right, we got two more cards out here. We have, oh my. So I can never pronounce this word right. Skeet, Skype, Skeet, you, you know, the Reaper, <laughs> Reaper, <laughs> Reaper and Crossing uh, with the energy of, oh geez, I can't see, the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. So this is about forward movement and I'm also, I'm also getting making amends, like cutting away the bullshit, cutting away the bullshit here. Yeah, clearing the path, literally trying to clear the path, trying to get rid of these blockages. Trying to get rid of these obstacles, these issues. I'm getting that they're mostly about issues. I'm still feeling that that mad gossip, though. I'm really feeling that so strong. Either way, this queen's going to be upset at what she finds out. She's going to be upset. This is going to be a little tough, Gemini. On the bottom, we have the cloud with the energy of six, which is also the king of wands, to take action, to clear out any confusion or illusion. There's The, the cloud is basically a lot of confusion around, the, yeah, around this king. The queen is just really confused on this king's motives. After getting this information, the queen is very, very confused on this king's motives. It's almost like, what do I believe? It's like, that's how this queen is feeling. What do I believe? Am I supposed to trust you even though you've been talking mad shit even though you've been lying to me or should i you know trust that you actually are working through all of that and whatever made you act like that what do i believe do i believe you've changed and that you have good intentions now and that that old you who did that to me and that the old you who did whatever you did and said whatever you wanted to say and gossiped however much you wanted to gossip do i believe that do i believe that that person is still here or do i believe that you've actually changed and you're not that person anymore Wow. But it looks like what they are, what the king is hiding is that they have been trying to work through these issues that made them act like this. Okay. Oh boy. All right. Let's get some advice, Gemini. <laughs> oh, jeez. Let's get some advice for you. Any advice? <clears throat> Any advice for Geminis regarding this spread? 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 The fact that this whistleblower is a Knight of Cups in reverse makes me think that this person is doing this to actually mess with the Queen's mind a little bit. It, it almost feels like they're, they're trying to mess up this, what's going on between the King and the Queen. And I'm all for insight. I'm all for gaining truth. You know, I'm all for people, you know, being honest and, and whatnot. But it's really up to the King and Queen to decide what's best for them in this situation. But I really feel like this this knight is acting like a devil's advocate energy, acting like a little bit of like, what, what drama can I stir up? It really does feel like that. Any advice for Geminis regarding this spread? 
Any advice for Geminis regarding this spread? All right, we have Hummingbird, be here now. 34 breaking down to a seven. This is an energy of acting now. Don't wait till tomorrow, not till a month from now, not a month ago, right now. Right now, right now, right now. Right now is the perfect time. This is definitely for the king. This is definitely for the king. And I just flashed back to the pre-shuffle with that two of wands and he was talking to the bird for guidance on what to do in that decision. And there's two flowers here. And look, he chose a flower. It, it, it's time. It's time, king slash emperor. It's time. It's time. Any other advice? <clears throat> Any other advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Not to mention, isn't Hummingbird just like a total Gemini in card? Isn't it? Like, don't you think so? I think so. I love Hummingbirds. Anyway. Any other advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Any other advice? Yep, we got one other card here. Any other advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Okay. All right, now we have, oh, be spirit. Sweet results await with the energy of seven. By the way, guys, two sevens, two sevens. Sevens are about following divine guidance, following the path, following where you're supposed to be, being on your journey, going in the right direction. Act now, king slash emperor. If you act now, it will pay off. Don't wait for this whistleblower to come in and try to fuck with things. Do it. Do it now. There's no room for fear. There's no room for anxiety. You got to do it now. Now is the time. And, and like I said, if you do it now, it will really pay off. Sweet results await is all about getting abundance, getting success, even getting gifts. Bees are associated with gifts as well, okay? Very, very nice. Overall, Geminis, you have giraffe spirit. See the big picture, 29 breaking down to an 11. This is about using your intuition. And and Geminis, you, got, you guys are, damn it, <laughs> made a second video. <laughs> Geminis are really good at actually looking at different perspectives in a situation to really see the big picture. Gemini, you can do this here. You know you know what to do. You know what's best for you in the situation. Talking to the kings here. Um, you already know. And for my queens, when this, you know, honestly, I want to say this person's just causing some shit. I want to say they're just a little shit stir, honestly, trying to see that if they can really fuck, fuck with you and this king. And I actually really don't like it. Like, the more I'm in this energy, I really am not liking this person. Um, it's like, why wait till now? to say this right it's like why wait till right now to say any of this if you really gave a shit if you really cared right anyway um for my queens use your intuition here you're coming across as a queen of cups that's the most intuitive queen okay use your intuition to know which what to do about this king what to do about their offer what to do about their approach you'll know what to do you have to use your intuition here, though. Don't listen to, the, to this person and whatever it is they're feeding you. Because at the end of the day, it's between you and this king. Someone wants to whistleblow on them. Cool. Thank you for the information. It's between me and this king. Get the fuck out. <laughs> right? It's between you two. That's it at the end of the day. And you already know what's best for you. Just like this king also knows what's best for him, for him and or her. Because it can also be a female. Doesn't Gender doesn't matter here. But intuition is going to help both of you in this situation. Okay? All right, Geminis, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon and check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great week, Geminis. Namaste.